This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is a brief overview of Notebook LM, how one could use it as a great summarizing tool and also as a tool to assist with our English language learners. So this is Notebook LM. You can just Google it if you'd like or go to notebooklm.google.com. This is an AI tool that does need to be turned on if you are within a school district workspace account. However, you can also use it on personal Google accounts. So you can see I have four notebooks already, but I'm going to hit Create New. Now this is a space, the very first thing it asks you to do is you're going to create a notebook which basically is almost like a, a binder of all your resources around a certain topic. So think about a topic you're learning about or want to learn about or want to summarize. Maybe you have a lot of resources around that topic and you would put all your resources in the notebook and it gives you options from links, YouTube videos, just text you might have, anything you want to upload from your desktop, anything in your Google Drive. So there's 50 sources that you can be limited to. The more sources you have, it's the longer it's going to take to think when you want the um, summaries. So just be aware of that, that it takes a little bit of time, but this is where you would add any of your items. So I'm going to add a few items um, and then we'll come back and see it summarize. Okay, you can see I added my resources. I've got a few slides in here, a few doc, uh, one doc, and a couple websites. And this is all around, my topic here is um, all around so like student use of AI in the classroom and uh, a way to manage that. So now you can see I have all of these sources. In here I have some notes so I can add um, some different options. So like it will give me a briefing doc. When I click that briefing doc, um, I do have options of what language I want that briefing doc in. So this will really assist us in terms of um, our ML learners. We can, would need to get that and then we would um, need to share it with students. Students will not have access to this in a school Google Workspace account, but we have this here and we could convert this once they create it. If I hit this convert to source, it gives me the source I can then um, manipulate this if I'd like to translate it and that would help our students. Then I also have the option to create an audio podcast and look more languages. So if I want my audio podcast in a different language, I have that option. So it gives me the directions here. I'm going to generate that and then I have some options um, in terms of the languages I can generate. So I'm going to hit generate here. It will take a few minutes so I will pause and then come back to this um, and then we can take a look at how to get it in other languages. All right so it did take several minutes so make sure if you're going to create this you do have um, a few minutes lead time. So here's my podcast. I can play it. It's going to be two hosts going back and forth. And what's nice is you'll see that you do have this beta if you wanted to play it and then kind of go back and forth. You can ask the podcast some like leading questions and um, have that piece in beta. Um, but this is a great overview. Always preview the podcast before you share it with students, but then if you want to share this with students, you can. You can either, um, I think a good option is you download it and you can upload it to your drive and then create a share link. Or you could just play it in class from here if you want the whole class to listen. I find this to be great for students to listen to uh, as an independent activity. Now, if you wanted to create this audio overview and you wanted it in a different language, in your settings here, you have an output language and you can change it. And then you may need to um, generate the audio overview again, but there are 50 languages that you can generate your content that you have um, to. So this would be a great option if you have a student that may need some resources in their language um, while also giving it to them in English uh, just to help their comprehension of the material that may be a great option. Um, and then also if you have all of the material and you want an audio overview in their language, that is an option as well. Always preview everything that is created first before giving out to students. Thank you.